Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to go over the main components that you really need to improve in Ranked Bedwars that most people don't really talk about and if they do talk about it, it's it's not really gone into much detail so I'm going to go over everything in as much detail as possible and enjoy. Okay, so the, the first thing that people focus on is PvP and PvP is really really important in Ranked because winning fights gets you pressure and pressure basically wins you the games because it allows you to get diamonds and M's and make other bridges and gets more protection basically wins you the game uh so in pvp there's some main components of of uh, types of pvp and in ranked most people usually uh hit select mid trade is a new thing i don't really know what it is but uh that's a thing w tapping s tapping and block hitting there's, there's probably more but uh, that's kind of the main thing so you know if you practice them you'll get better at fights and, and fights usually win you the game some tips i do have on like Improving your PvP is if you get a Model O or something like that, or a Rock Hat kind of mouse, these are really uh, useful. A lot of people use them in ranked because uh, you can click really high CPS. And I'd aim for about 800 DPI, 30 to 50 cents. I mean, whatever works for you, but that works for most people because uh, high CPS usually uh, wins you the game because it's really, really useful. So, yeah. So, the second thing we're going to talk about is mechanics. Uh, it's kind of like above and beyond of like the basics of ranked so things like block clutching uh, ladder clutching using ladders on the bridge to kill people blocking in with like ants on a wood which makes it really difficult for your opponents to kill you when you're breaking your bed fireball jumping for the bed or like just to kill people it's really useful and invising is also really useful if it's allowed or like after the bed's broken and there's uh, three main types of invising so there's explosive which is usually like tnt and fireballs uh just to like blow up the bed defense and expose it also using tools, uh, you know, getting tier three tools, blocking in, mining the endstone really fast, using the wood really fast. That's really useful. There's also pressure invis, which is like if you're losing on pro or something, and you know you have some M's, you want to just invis to make them make sure they're all at their base, maybe hide behind their base to just to stall for ages, get your team some diamonds back, some M's back. That's also really useful. And now the most important thing is game sense. If you have good game sense, you will win most of your games. Um, and yeah, so the main thing with game sense is making you count, making sure you count four players at all time, um, because then you'll you'll know if someone's invis or someone's hiding, because you know you see you see everybody in the in the map, because people will hide and people will invis. Um, and also, some other game sense is if your bed is broken, usually you will lose a game because you know you've lost your bed but if you have m's or something the, the thing you want to do when you lose your bed is go side with the m's because that gives you the highest chance and if you have everyone alive you know you can't clutch it's possible and also if there's a player incoming to your base you want to have two people at base not just one because anything can happen in one by one in a 1v1 even if he's on like 2 hp i've seen it happen trust me it's not a good idea um and also you want to steal diamonds because you want to win on diamonds diamonds wins you the game uh, you want to fireball the diamonds if you can just seeing that they're you know they've got no diamonds and if you have really good pressure, make, you know, bridges, like diagonal bridges. Um, they are really useful because you can just, like, alternate bef between bridges and hold pressure for a very long time. So that's really useful. And side is also really useful uh, on maps like Invasion, Lactus, uh, things like that. I think there's one more, but I don't know. Anyway, you can uh, focus on diamonds. Diamonds is the priority at side. You want to get all the diamonds. Um, you want to make sure you're ahead on diamonds because if you start losing the fights and they get more diamonds, you know, more pro means you you're done for so uh, yeah and also if you if you're starting to lose your fights at side even though it's probably not your fault because you probably got an iron sword and a fireball you should probably switch places with your teammate because you know he could be a lot better than that guy and you could end very well um and also if there's only one person at their base and you can like skip to get the bed you should do it um because one going for the bed you know anything can happen you might as well go for it but you also want to stop people from skipping you at side because you know you don't want to lose the bed like that. It's not a good idea. All right, the next thing is mentality. It's probably a really, really important uh, part. You want to stay composed, you know. You don't want to lose your shit. Uh, sorry for the language, but anyway. Uh, you want to calm your teammates down if they're kind of panicking. And uh, if you're losing, you want to try and, like, you know, losing on pro. You want to reassure your team that, you know, it's still winnable. Anything can happen. It's the right battle game. And if they're not winning their fights, you know, try and encourage them. And if you're doing well, you should let them know. You know, you should... Uh, Tell them that they're doing well. It'll kind of give them an ego boost and they'll play better. Trust me. And also, uh, if you have a, like a really good player on your team, you should probably let them second because 
you know, you don't want to put your best player in defense. So, uh, yeah.